I kid you not guys it is 65 degrees out here no jacket he's wearing a t-shirt yeah I am it's nice out huh All, all leisurely today yes <laughs> so what do you got I got for your leisure I've got Polly you got Polly baby you know what yeah. those words do to a woman like me right they make you excited about growing plants <laughs> very <laughs> what did you boys get we found an egg what egg tastes better than I Put it out of the right way. Washed it red. This one's pretty. Ooh, there's a Moran's egg. Yeah. And a Americana egg. No, that's a duck egg. Oh, that's a duck egg? Are you sure? We found it outside of the coops. No, it's not like a, on the coops. Yep, that's a duck egg. I can tell by feel. They have a waxier texture. No, that's really one. pretty. I want to hatch those one. blue duck eggs. Oh, let me feel that one. Oh yes, yes, that's a chicken egg. This is also probably a chicken egg. Oh yeah, but we feel it inside the coops. Yeah, how nice is it out today? It's very good. Feel good? It's not <laughs> really cold. It's not really cold, yeah. It's fun to play outside, huh? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna pick this one because it's already facing out. So it'll be easy for you to wrap around, yes? That's the one that I picked too. Good, because like I was thinking, because you don't have to move it really. Yeah. Go ahead and put the plastic around it. And it can be right here. When okay. I put plants in it even. <laughs> just to make things easier, I guess. Yeah, just kind of coming up with the ideas today. <laughs> so how much plastic did you bring home today? Well, I thought I'd unfold it and see. Maybe if we cut it piece by piece and we for can, each wall yeah for each wall we can attach it um, either with some sort of roofing nails I have with the the green buttons on the outside or uh -huh. put a piece of uh, one by or some other kind of wood on top of the plastic except the one I, I like the idea of the one by that's kind of how we did it on the ends on my greenhouse when my dad and I built my greenhouse but um, that that adds price and we want to do this project completely for free don't we we'll have to check our scrap <laughs> yeah section and see if we have anything usable or I don't think we have any one uh, buys we could possibly sacrifice some pieces off of one of the other uh, things here oh yeah like take apart one of these yeah, smaller one ones, of these ones use the wood and then we have material yeah but i kind of like the idea that i have this many to use if i need to you know getting you more is not an issue really really these are this is all uh stuff discarded from work so this one already broke off and was re-screwed in by someone but it's broken see that's the kind of piece of size wood i was thinking as a one by then after the walls are done all we really need is some sort of slanted roof yeah so the, the water, so the water will goes off. down and then a simple door um, it doesn't even have to have hinges it could just be a flap that we open yeah and just secure it with you know bailing twine or something yeah I was thinking like those velcro strips or magnet strips yeah type things I don't know where you buy those though I'm gonna I have to know. have to look on Amazon. And you got those twisty things. Probably yeah, but that would leave a lot of air holes. And if there's air holes and we have a cold night, it could mean bad things for warm climate plants. Yeah. So I want to keep it as buttoned down as possible. 
but I actually probably have to worry more about when it gets too hot <laughs> that or, you know, on a hot day. But then you can open the front door if it was a hot day. Right. Because Georgia's completely bipolar when it comes to weather. Oh, when it gets really warm, we'll want to ventilate it somehow. You know, it'll need to have a spot for heat to escape. Well, that's why I'm saying just remove the entire front door or open it, yeah. you know. Or have it maybe roll up. Or something? I don't know. Yeah. Hi! Hi, duckies! What have you got yourself into? This is what I get for coming outside with my big flowy pants tucked into my slipper socks with oh my, my. slip-on muck boots. You got your you They're got your muck. your MC Hammer pants. Listen, your they look real pretty like a skirt when your, they're not tucked into my socks, but I didn't want to get them dirty. I didn't know I was going to be filming today, and I didn't know I was going to be outside. I didn't know it was going to be gorgeous. I thought we would just be sitting on the couch eating wings and tortilla chips and, and, and talking sports ball. I don't mean to laugh at your misfortune, but you do look like MC Hammer with your parachute pants. I look like a clown! A <laughs> clown. <laughs> All right, wait, wait. In my defense. There you go. They're really kind of cute, okay? <laughs> They're nice. They're just too long to wear around the yard and walking through blackberry brambles. I wasn't planning on filming. My apologies, Ryan. <laughs> I'll say like I said a couple videos ago. All right, stop. Hammer time. <laughs> I think that might throw my hip back out. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. What are you doing, Ryan? I thought I'd see if our boat is seaworthy. Seaworthy? Well, pond worthy. Oh, okay, okay, gotcha. <laughs> it's just, the, it's what they say, seaworthy. I'm concerned that this could be a leak that takes on water. It worked last time we went out, but I'm not 100% sure. I think it looks bigger. It looks bigger. Well, I'm test it and see what we're dealing with here. All right. Oh yeah, that would help. Give me your phone. This could be goodbye. <laughs> I want you to have that. <laughs> hey, at least it's such a nice day that the 
the um, swim won't be so bad if you start sinking, right? I'll just keep swimming. <laughs> All right. Just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Okay. So far? I'm on a boat. <laughs> Be water coming in. Uh oh. Careful. Yeah. That there's a leak. That hole is a leak up in the front. And yeah, we're starting to take on water. Oh, oh no. Careful. Yeah, we're taking on water. Trying to bail it. Okay, I don't think this is working. <laughs> um, this is get. This is gonna be bad. <laughs> I was hoping to take you on a boat ride today. Aww, that would be nice. All right. Yes, yeah, it's, it's not actually that bad, but. Probably wouldn't want to stay out very long. Oh boy, okay, I'm just gonna have to do this from the shore. Okay. okay. Alright, somebody grab that rope. Grab that rope, Liam! Oh, thank you, Liam. Oh. I Thank goodness it. you're okay. <laughs> I was worried for a moment. <laughs> Liam saved the day. Good job, Liam. <laughs> hey, nice button on your shirt. Wow. The button says Foo Fighters. That's like Daddy's shirt. And his shirt also says Rock Out. Little rock and roll boy. <laughs> <laughs> you got something on your forehead. What is it? It's like the Harry Potter mark. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What'd you do? Color on your head? Let oh, me see. Sorry. Oh, yep, that oh, looks like sorry. marker. When you were practicing writing L I A M. So when I was making my hair with my regular hair. Yeah, that hole is definitely fixable. Um, so I think once it dries up, I can put a fiberglass repair cloth on it. I think I have some left over. I repaired it a long time ago over here, remember? When yep. we first got it? Yep, you did a good job. And that's held up pretty well. Yeah. I should have some left. I think so. I think I remember you having at least the rolls of fiberglass left. Yeah. And we might have to buy more epoxy. What? What are you going to tell us about it? It's so wet on the bottom though. It's so wet on the bottom though, yeah. Maybe we'll fix it and then and then one day we can all go out on yeah. the pond. Yeah. Yeah. So what do we to do and then the Turtle pond. Yeah, in the turtle pond. Okay. Cool. So there will not be any sharks and stuff. No sharks. No. Nope. Sharks. This is not the ocean. City boy. Wait a minute, Ryan. What did you just say? I forgot the plug. No, the other thing before that. Uh. What? Let's go grind some meat. Oh yeah, let's go grind some meat because we're going to make venison chili for dinner. Can, um, blow this? can, can you blow that? Blow you sure can, buddy. Good job. They don't release as good as dandelions, huh? Yeah. So what were you saying, baby? We've been craving venison chili 
for a while now and the only thing that stopped us is having ground venison so let's get out the kitchen aid uh, mixer unit thingy that you have with your little <laughs> grinder tool and let's grind some venison so we can have delicious venison chili that sounds awesome you know that's exactly what i call that what <laughs> the thingy, thingy? <laughs> Isn't that what it is? <laughs> I guess it's technically a grinder. The KitchenAid grinder attachment. Kitchen aid I love the thing. attachment thingy. Yeah. That's, that's okay. what I call all of the attachment thingies for my KitchenAid, though. That would be getting confusing. I just saw a Denny line. Yeah. I'm hungry. <sighs> Me too. Let's, uh, let's go grind some venison. Yum. Okay. <laughs> all right. So I guess uh, that does it for us out here today. Probably so. All right. Well... Thanks for watching. You know the drill. We'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots. Peace.